Hello all. So I just want to introduce you to a plugin called VPS Scope CM uh, made by Vengeance Sounds and you can get it free with Computer Music Magazine I believe. Um, so just going to look at what this uh, plugin does and look at some basic waveform theory. So it's got different um, modes. We can look at a scope, a spectrum and stereo field. Today we're going to focus on what the scope shows us or oscilloscope and what the spectrum shows us. Okay, so I've got Alchemy set up and Alchemy is just going to play a sine wave. So the most basic waveform there is. Okay, so I'm just going to play middle C and let's have a look what we see. So there we can see a representation of the waveform, the sine wave. So let's talk about what we can see. So essentially, um, a sound wave is a, is a graphical representation of pressure in the air. Um, so on the y-axis, um, we have the measure of loudness or amplitude. And a quieter waveform um, will be a shorter waveform. So you can see that one's that one was a little bit quieter. And then if I play the same note a little louder, you can see that it's a taller waveform. So yeah, how kind of tall or short the waveform is, that corresponds to how loud it's going to be. Okay, and then along the x-axis. So um, we have a measurement of wavelength. So this uh, equates to the pitch of the waveform. So a longer waveform will have a lower pitch. So at the moment, I'm playing the note C3. Okay, if I play C2, you'll see that the waveform increases. Um, and it, should do it will double in length because it's half the frequency. And we go an octave lower, and then so that, that was where I started. If we go an octave higher, see the wa the wavelength gets shorter, and in an octave higher than that, it will half again. Okay, so that's an overview of what an oscilloscope shows us. Um, I'm just going to switch to the spectrum mode. So what this shows us is all of the um, the different pitches that make up a sound. And because this is a sine wave in the most basic sound that all of the sounds are actually comprised from, um, you'll see that, well, let me show you and you can see. So we just have a very narrow peak. If I move the frequency down an octave, and again, So playing different C's across the keyboard and you can see how that registers in the spectrum. Um, this is a mono signal so we're not going to look at anything with the stereo field right now. Um, there's also other views within this so we can get a waterfall view. So yeah, I like that one as well. Okay, thank you very much.